Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change in its percent and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So, if I was given this problem from $246 to $221, and I wanted to find the percent increase or decrease. Well, first let's look at it. 246 to 221, and that is a decrease. It's going down and not yelling temper. Decrease. So it's decrease here. So but now we need to find the difference between these two numbers. 246 subtracted by 221. 6 minus a 1 is a 5. 4 minus 2 is a 2. And 2 minus 2 is a 0. So we have 25. So it's a $25 decrease between the two. We take that 25 and we divide it by 246, the first number. Okay? We use our calculator here, if I can get it to load my, my fingerprint, 25 divided by 246 comes out to be approximately 0 0.101603, okay? So approximately 0 0.101063. Well, from there, what we need to do is then decide, okay, how do I move that to be a percent? Well, we take that decimal and just move it two units to the right. We're left with 10.163%, but we're not done. That percent, we need to round to a nearest percent, right? The nearest percent is the, the whole numbers here. So 10.163%, well, that 1, uh, that affects the 0 right here. And since 1 makes it round down, it's in that category, that 10 just stays to be a 10. So we actually have a 10% decrease here. That's our final answer. So let's recap. We start from $246 to 221 we know that was going down, so that's a decrease. From that, we found a difference between them, 246 minus 221 to get a 25. We took the 25 divided by 246. That came out to be a decimal of 0 0.10163. Okay, so from there, 0 0.10163, we know we can move the decimal over two units, one, two, to convert that decimal to a percent. So we get 10.163%, but that needed to be rounded to the nearest percent, so that one, causes a zero to round down, so we're left with just a final answer here, finally, of 10% decrease.